A very good morning to you from Santander, Spain. Now, the last time I was here, I got a lot of comments saying, Aki, should have tried the narrow gauge railway. So here I am back in March 2024 to do just that. The things I do for you, eh? Now, the railway we're going to try today is called Cercanias, and it runs totally separate from the main Spanish Renfe network. And that means you don't go in through the main railway station either. We need to go down to the next building. Now, I found that quite confusing, and I also find it confusing that you can't really buy tickets online. I was hunting about on the Renfrew website, but couldn't manage to do it. But I have heard that it's okay just to buy tickets on the day. In fact, that might be the only way to do it. So, fingers crossed we get one. So, let's just have a wee look in the main railway station first. As with the last time I had a look in here, it is super quiet. Hardly anyone about. So as you can see, here at the main railway station, there's a barrier system in place, so I can't really go any further onto the platform. But we can see the regular gauge of track here, and this is what you'll find yourself on if you're traveling pretty much anywhere in Spain. But here in the north of the country, there's something a wee bit different and a wee bit special. Squeaky floors. So as we make our way across from the main station to the Cercanias station, we can see a wee cafe in the corner, and it's called Cafe Feve. Now Feve is what Cercanias used to be called before it was integrated into Renfe. Although the ticketing still isn't integrated, so it's a wee bit messy, but still, here we are, and there's four lines running from here, and we're gonna be on one of those. I'm not sure which yet. Let's get inside and find out. As soon as you step into the station, it's absolutely gorgeous and you've got these old murals up on the walls showing you the different lines on this local train network. Now, there's a steam train in that one. I don't think we're going to be in a steam train today. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? Let's see if we can get a ticket here. Otherwise, we might have to use one of the machines. Well, I tried to buy a ticket, but the lady was saying that the ticketing system isn't working today. That's what I took from it anyway. So she said, just buy a ticket on the train. I hope that works okay, or maybe it'll be free today, who knows? Oh, there's the timetable for today's journey. So we will be on R2, and that leaves Santander at 8.29. Now, I think I'm gonna go to Yanis today. I've heard good things about this place, but it doesn't arrive in until 11.01. So that is, what, two and a half hours to go not very far. This is not a fast train. Look at this, on the back wall of the station we've got a lovely mosaic, but would you believe it's covered by vending machines? What a shame. Oh, and if we look around the corner, that's the bridge and you can't even see it. Ah, it shouldn't be like that, should it? There must have been other places to put those vendies. So just as a wee train was pulling in, we get our first look at the narrow gauge tracks. And I tell you what, they look very dinky. I believe they are 1,000 millimetres across, so exactly a metre. And in person, they look a lot smaller than that, to be honest. It almost looks like a toy line. But this is a proper railway line carrying thousands of commuters every day to and from Santander and beyond. You know, I had a wee problem in the station filming. They came up to me and said, you can't film in here. And I was trying to tell them in my pidgin Spanish, I'm doing this as a job, and this is me making a wee video about a very special train line. They took me off to see the boss, El Jefe, and he was like, ah, it's absolutely fine. So you can get permission on the day. If you have any problems, 
filming in the stations in Spain, just asked to speak to El Jefe. Hey, I tell you what, it's turning out to be a beautiful morning, a bit different to yesterday when we arrived. I'll put a wee clip of that in just now. The weather in the north of Spain isn't as consistent as in the south. Hey, I'd better focus and get my train. It leaves in about six minutes. I don't even know which platform yet. There's not too many to choose from though. Hi, this is my wee chariot for this morning. I'm having to focus so much because it goes from platform nine to seven to one and then to two. And we're on platform one. So yes, this is definitely my train. But there only appears to be one door open at the back here. So let's get on board. That's me in my wee seat now. I don't know how often I'm going to say wee today, but I'm on one of the single seats on the left hand side. Now I'm not sure which side's best to be on, but we can move about as the journey continues, can't we? Us just through our first stop we're about 45 minutes into the journey so far and it's been pretty good there's not much to see in the train itself it's fairly basic as we train but the view out the window has been beautiful we've had the green meadows the mountains off in the distance with snow on them as well if you told me we were in switzerland i think i'd believe you Here's a wee route map here, of course we started in Santander, this train would eventually get us to Oviedo but we're going to get off in Llanes, so we're going from Cantabria to Asturias, so that's really cool, we're going to see a different region of Spain today. But just getting from Santander to Llanes takes two and a half hours, so although the train feels like it's going at a fair pace, it is actually very slow. Like I 
say the trains are fairly basic and I had read somewhere there's no USBs or anything like that on them and there certainly isn't at the seats but I just spotted a couple at the door so if you need them in an emergency you know where to find them. This is a good little insight into my filming trips by the way, I'm never in my seat, give it 20 minutes and I'm up at the end of the train, just going from one side to the other, looking for the best views. It's cool to see all the different regions you can actually go to with this train. You can go to Pais Basco, Cantabria, Asturias, Galicia, Castilla, Leon. It's quite extensive, isn't it? This is actually such a cool way to see the country. I mean, trains always are good for it, but just the fact that this one goes a wee bit slower, you see so much more. the train does get going it does actually go at quite a fair speed but there's also a lot of stopping I'm not sure if that's because this is a single track at this stage so we're waiting for another train to come fast. Aye, we're moving again
we're almost there now, just about five minutes to run. Off to our left we've got the mountains and off to our right we've got the sea. It's an absolutely stunning location here. Aye, so that'll be the Cantabrian Sea, which will eventually become the Bay of Biscay. But as I say, we're almost at Yanis and that's where we'll get off and have a good look around town. Gracias. Nada. And here we are, Yanis. Now how do we get off? Arriba. 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 Gracias. And that's my wee train on its way again. It might not be the fastest train, it might not be the fanciest train, but as train journeys go, that's one of the best I've ever been on, I tell you. And it's dropped us off here in Yanis, like I say, a gorgeous location, and I think it's quite a nice town. So we'll go and have a wee explore, and then we'll be catching that train back to Santander in about six hours' time. So we've got plenty of time here to see some of the town and get something to eat. I'm starving. <laughs> For your own safety, it is forbidden to cross the tracks. Please use the level crossings. Hello again, you join me here now a few hours later back at Yanis Railway Station. Now I was going to put the town into this video, but it turned out to be such a cool place that I think it deserves its own, so that'll be the next video that you see. So we're back now at the railway station for the trip back to Santander. Now I just got a single ticket when I was coming here, but for the journey back there is a machine, but strangely it doesn't take card because that's all blanked off, so you have to pay cash. And I don't have enough cash for this journey, so here's hoping we can buy the ticket on the train. This is actually quite cool, even though it was a wee bit scary. Because although the ticket office is closed, if you press the screen here, it connects you to a person and you FaceTime them. So you can see them, they can see you, and you can ask about anything you need to know. So I was asking, can I buy my ticket on the train? I wasn't quite ready for it, so I was struggling to get my Spanish together. But yes, I can buy a ticket on the train with my card. So that means I don't have to use the cash machine. Aye, this might sound controversial, but I think we've found the best coast in Spain, the north coast. And to think we started there this morning in Santander, and we only came along this far. Look how much further we can go, right along the coast, all the way on those little trains. We've got to do that sometime. The other way as well, up towards the French border. It's just some coastline, isn't it? Well, I almost got on that train. Thank goodness I checked. That one is for Oviedo. That's the other way. 
and of course we're going to Santander so that would have been a bit of a nightmare wouldn't it? Ah but here's my wee train coming now but I'm still on the wrong platform So I be very careful. Oviedo, Santander. <laughs> At least I think I'm on the right train. I never want to be too confident, you know. I never checked on the way out. Are these those seats that move? Oh, they are. I like that. So there we are, back underway, only two and a half hours to go to Santander. Of course, I'm not going to bore you with the return journey as well. You've seen all that this morning. I think I'm just going to sit back, relax and watch some YouTube. I've got quite a lot of stuff downloaded because I'm not sure what the phone signal is going to be like on the train. But I'm quite surprised how high the sun is still in the sky. It wouldn't be like that back home, would it? But things are very different in Spain. Hello. Hello. Hi. 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 <laughs> How are you? Yeah. That was a nightmare at the end because they said I could buy a ticket on the train, but then nobody came to sell a ticket on the train. So we got to Santander and I couldn't get through the barrier. So I tried to buy a ticket at the machine, but you can't buy a ticket from Santander to Santander. <laughs> that makes sense. So she actually just let me through the barrier for free. So that was um, a wee bit of a nightmare, but I'm so glad you're here. So you didn't pay for a ticket? No, I didn't pay for a ticket. And that's the end of that story, folks. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye. Now I ain't missing nine to five. I don't hear it in my song. I'm going to pull my weight, don't get me wrong. Brand new start and a whole new part. They are big old shoes to fill. I'll be there on that platform, babe. No, I...